guys, it's Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day as always. I'm going to try to get right into today's topic, but first I want to make sure that you guys please like, share, and subscribe. It looks like I have lots of viewers that aren't subscribing. So if you're one of the viewers that is watching right now and haven't hit the sub button, please do it. It's super easy. It's just a click, click. And then every time I make a video, you will have my shining face pop up for you to brighten your day. Not really. I don't think I'll brighten your day with my murder stories and these horrible cases, but um, hopefully I will be able to give you information and you can go into comments and please discuss it with everybody. That's the main reason for this channel. If you guys have been to my channel before, you know that I made this channel so that we could all talk about things. I was commenting all the time and I wanted to bring everybody together to talk in the comments. And that's what this, this video is actually about today. I'm sure you're aware if you've been here that I have some issues with the Todd Mullis case. In my comment section, I've gotten a lot of theories. I've also had a lot of stuff sent to me and it's very interesting. And today I wanna to share a couple of them with you. So the first one is from a viewer, hopefully a subscriber, a viewer named Girly Gamer. She left a comment talking about what she thought may have happened and she was leaning towards the accident theory, which has always been what I have leaned towards. So that kind of made me really like this theory. I had never thought of it and I think it's genius, right? And we'll look at the comment. Let's check it out right now. We'll read it together. Girly Gamer says that during Todd's testimony on Court TV, Todd testified that while he was trying to pull her out of the barn, that the rake handle caught on the chemical tanks that have a wire net around it. It's very possible that this caused the two extra punchers. I watched this case during the trial and missed this part. The medical examiner ruled it a homicide based on the six punches. What she is saying makes a lot of sense to me. Let me know if you guys think it makes sense. So she's basically saying that if you recall in Todd's testimony, he explained that he had to take the rake out of Amy's back because when he was trying to get her out of this narrow area, the handle from the rake kept getting caught in these grates that were in this shed where Amy was eventually found. Curly Gamer gave the theory that maybe when Todd was trying to remove the rake and it was getting caught in the grate, it's possible that he pulled it out, but then as he was trying to, you know, mess with it with the handle stuck in, that it ended up kind of jabbing her again, which would explain the extra wounds that were on Amy, which is the main reason that people think this was a murder because of the four tine rake and the six wounds on her body. But this is definitely a possibility. He could have accidentally hit her again with a rake because it got stuck in the grate. And that would also explain why there's different directions. And as I've said, the direction, the difference in directions on some of these wounds is not as huge as everybody wants it to be. It's not one going way up and one going way down. But if we think about it, that the handle on the rake could have been in any location. It could have been up, up in the grate, in the center, down below. And that would really explain why there was a different direction on, on some of these. It could have been going in any direction considering the grate. So I think this is an excellent theory. I really do. And the fact that Todd testified to this not trying to use it as an excuse other than to say that's why he took the rake out. He didn't say that's why there's six wounds. Nobody ever tried to say that that was the reason. So he didn't use this as an excuse for what happened to try to prove his innocence. And I just think this is a very, very good theory that's very possible. And I'm actually surprised that nobody thought of it. I'm surprised that the, the well, the first defense attorney didn't think at all, but I'm really, I'm really surprised that it wasn't mentioned at all by anyone ever until Girly Gamer came up with this. And I think it's really smart. 
and thank you girly gamer for writing comments and giving me these series giving everybody these series and letting me talk about them so i really appreciate that and i think it's awesome that she came up with this amazing theory i know i have been not really around so much but i'm getting back to doing videos again and I just wanted to get this out to you quickly, but I'm going to investigate more and try to figure out dimensions and how this could possibly work. This theory that the greats caused the rape to kind of lunge into Amy again, causing a couple more wounds. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this theory. I think it's awesome. And now we have a second theory and this second theory is the opposite. Basically, this is a theory based on Amy being murdered, but murdered by a third party. Theory number two. This is a totally different theory. This was another viewer that left a comment. Her name is Charlene Cummins. And she said that she thought maybe a third party had killed Amy, a boyfriend. So let's take a look at Charlene Cummins' comment and we'll read her theory together. Charlene Cummins commented, Theory, what if when husband and Tristan left, a lover came over to see Amy? She had extra breakfast cooking. So when the boys return home early, the lover hides and Amy offers to help husband so not to be suspicious. Then when the lover thinks they are going to be caught, they kill her with the rake to save their own life and marriage. So obviously we're going on the completely opposite side of the spectrum here. We got one that's an accident. We got one that's a murder. So her thought was the day that Amy was killed, Todd and Tristan went to the other farm that morning. They were supposed to be working there for a while, presumably. So Amy didn't think that Todd was going to be there for quite some time or Tristan. So maybe she invited a boyfriend over and I would imagine they would be shocked when Todd, her husband, and her oldest son, Tristan, came back and the two of them would have probably freaked out and tried to figure out what to do. And Amy offered the help so she wouldn't be suspicious. When she went into the shed, this guy decided to kill her because he was scared he was gonna get caught and he wanted to save his own family and his own life. I think this is a great theory as well. I wanna add to it though. There's other possibilities here. What if he went into the shed to hide and maybe he was going to kill Todd? Maybe this was even a planned thing, but it could just be a boyfriend that was freaking out that he was going to get caught. And maybe when Amy went in there, maybe he was expecting Todd and then he just attacked thinking it was Todd and then he accidentally killed Amy. We don't know if anybody else was on the property. I'm sorry. If Todd and Tristan are the only ones who said that, they're just guessing. I mean, there's I could I could be in my backyard and have no idea that someone's in my front yard. And this was a huge, huge area. So I do think it's interesting. I do think it's possible that this could have happened. And it's a great theory by Charlene Cummins. And the other theory, a great theory as well about an accident by Girly Gamer. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I will check out every comment and I will be responding to you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will also like, share, and subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love to hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. 1,000 is amazing for me. So reaching 10,000 would be awesome. And if you guys could help me out with it, I would I would appreciate it. I mean, mainly it's, it's all because of you guys, because you're the one subscribing, right? All right, everybody that's not subscribed, please hit the sub button. It's super easy and it'll help me reach my 10,000, which is not huge for everybody else, but I'm a tiny, tiny channel and 10,000 is amazing for me. I just appreciate all the support from you guys. I love it. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video. All right, thanks a lot guys, bye. I got one more thing for you guys. I was thinking about doing a contest. So I was wondering if my viewers are contest people. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. And I'll see you in the next video.